So you've just created your beautiful animation here and you want to get it in Engine. How do you export it? So I've seen a lot of tutorials. They've been going up to like file, export selection and all this stuff. I've literally never do that. Normally at a studio, we have a game exporter tool and Maya has one. So I'll show you how to use that. So important thing to keep in mind for Anim, you just want the joint information. You don't want the textures. You don't want the mesh. You just want the joint movement. So to do that, you want to select your root. And you go to select hierarchy up here and then maya will automatically select all the stuff that we need you don't need to bake it and then the export selection tool we want is actually this game exporter not the export selection this one here you'll notice it pops up this nice handy window with a bunch of different settings let me quickly go through it to add a new export you just click plus name it according to proper naming conventions you can specify the frame range as well so you can export multiple different animations from the same file very handy and you want to make sure bake animation on the y-axis is the up axis normally i clicked embed media off because this will export the textures again your tds will set up the assets in game for the, having the skeletal mesh and everything. So you don't want to override that type of stuff. Then you specify your location. Normally this would be to your version control, like per force. I'm just doing it on my desktop for simplicity. And then you hit export. Maya's exporting it right now. Okay, awesome. It was successful. Now let's head over to Unreal. So now that we're in Unreal, you want to import this animation. If you've never done it before, what you want to do is hit this import button, go to where you exported it, open, and then you'll see it's getting all the information here. Since we just exported joint information, we need to specify the skeleton. So Unreal knows, oh, these joints go to this skeletal mesh again, which is why we exported it the way we did without the mesh and all that type of stuff. So we can just assign it to what's already set up in here. And you wanna make sure when you do animations, you do import animations only. Again, we don't wanna override texture, skeletal mesh, all that type of stuff. So import it and awesome, here it is. Exactly how it looks in Maya. So that's if you do it the first time. If you've already like, imported it once before and you're just doing um, like an updated version, all you have to do is right click on your asset and do re-import as long as it's re-importing from the same location, which is another great reason to use version control. It should just update automatically from the same place and you're good to go. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope it clarifies the, the proper workflow and as always, happy animating.